Hey Battles, so today we're going to talk about me moving to Ghana, as well as how Ghana became my top pick of country to move to. Also, I'm going to tell you when I'm going to move to Ghana. So stay tuned for a little story time. Look at her. Hey Battle Buddies, so the big question is, why am I moving to Ghana? And that's truly a, not a hard question for me because I've made this decision many years ago that I knew that I wanted to move out of the United States. It was just when will I be able to move out of the United States? So for those who don't know me, my name is Miss Bohemian Goddess and on my channel, I'll be documenting my journey from here, Dallas, Texas, all the way to Accra, Ghana, as well as showcasing everything that I did for me to transition smoothly into Accra, Ghana. If this is a channel that you're looking for, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification so that when I put out new contents, you will not miss it. So let's start this talk, right? Okay, so... I travel every year somewhere for my birthday. I'm never here in the United States on my birthday. I don't care who I work for. I'm not here for my birthday. So I have traveled to Thailand. I have traveled to Dubai. I've been to Ghana. I've been to South Africa. I've been to uh, Mexico, Jamaica, my country, which is the Bahamas, several times, of course. Um, Panama, I mean, the list can go on on the countries that I have visited. But it wasn't until I actually visit Dubai that I knew that I don't want to live in the United States anymore. Okay. And then as I continued to travel, and I would say about 20, I want to say 2018, if I can remember, I would say 2018, I visited South Africa. And I fell in love. I felt the culture from me being from the Bahamas. I felt like it was somewhere rooted from my country to there, or say my island to there. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I cried. <laughs> um, my friends was there and they was looking at me crazy because I was crying because it was just an emotional feeling for me because I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere where I belong, right? Um, so, that's how I knew then, like, it's time for me to go. But I was still in the military, you know, army, of course. <laughs> um, so it wasn't like I could just up and leave at that moment. But I knew then from 2018, I was like, okay, I want to move that out of this country. But I wasn't doing my due diligence until 2021. 2021 hit me when the world literally shut down 20, 2020, 2021, you know, and I'm just like, everything that was going on here in the United States, I was just, this was a lot of chaos. So I was like, yeah, I need to put myself on a three-year plan for me to be able to move outside of the United States. So for me, it's like, okay, I'm coming in here as an immigrant, okay, and I came here not by my own choice, you know, my... I came with my mom. So coming here into this country as an immigrant, you know, it was a lot of maneuver that I had to do by my, my accent, my dialect, you know, the way I dress, the way I act, you know, I had to basically adjust, you know, to my surroundings. And so now that I am an adult and I'm looking at all the things that I have went through in this country and it was like, I want peace. I want I want to be able to walk outside and not have to worry about, you know, someone looking at me crazy because of who I am. OK, so as well as just having the the peace of mind to not have to always be in this rat race of you wake up, work, you know, and, and go back to sleep and then wake up and work go back to sleep. And then between somewhere in between there, you're paying bills. That's all you're doing. As soon as you get the paycheck, it's gone, you know? So I was like, I want something where my life would be a little bit more, you know, easier, you know, and I can enjoy the rest of my life because I'm getting older. So that is how I knew and chose to move outside of the United States. 
basically comparing the visit times that I have visited these different countries that have made me to solidify my, I'm not, I'm moving, right? Um, and seeing the way how they live. And they are doing the same exact thing. They're working, right? They got to pay bills and they got to eat, you know, and they're happy. You know, it's a balance there. When then I come back here and I have no balance. So that is why I am choosing to move outside of United States to move to another country. Okay. So the next question is how I chose Ghana, how Ghana became my top pick. So initially I wanted to move to Cape Town. I wanted to move to South Africa and I've discussed it with my friends. Um, and one of them was like, no, you need to visit Kenya and you need to visit Ghana. And I was just like, okay, before I make my choice, cause I've only went to one country in Africa and that was Cape Town. So let me try another place. So last year, I visited Ghana and I stayed there for 18 days during my birthday, of course, <laughs> and I fell in love. I felt like I was home, like it was Bahamas, like not the same feeling that I got when I went to Cape Town. Cape Town felt like it was my roots, it's like, you know, my people, you know, whatever, whatever. But when I went to Ghana, it was like this, the, the way how they maneuver, you know, it reminded me so much of the Bahamas and that's what I wanted. You know, like I would love to move back home to my country, but it's not economically for me to make that choice to do so. So for me, that place in Ghana, when I visited, it was just mind boggling. I was so happy. And the 18 days that I stayed there, I did not want to come back. And that's when I knew that, okay, I'm going to choose Ghana. Now, I came back to United States after my 18 days and my friends was like, you're just going to choose Ghana. You didn't go to Kenya, no place else. And I was just like, no, I was like, if, if you just the food, you know, and if you just see the people and, and, and it's just, I was just, I felt like I was in the Bahamas, you know, selling fruits, vegetables and on, in the market, you know, and selling things on the side of the road to make that dollar or CDs as we would call it there. And I'm just like, that's my, that's my country. And then as I continue to do research, because I research everything, you know, we have junk canoe in my country. They also have that there in Ghana. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not really going to be able to be homesick as much as I would if I moved somewhere else to Dubai or Thailand, you know, or even Cape Town, right? As well as I feel like I would be able to live the life that I want comfortably in a country that reminds me of my island. And that's how Ghana became that number one pick. And it's so crazy that it only took that one visit for me to make the choice that I'm moving to Ghana. So that's how Ghana became my top pick. So now you want to know, when am I going to move to Ghana, right? So the initial plan when I came back home last year, May of 2023, I was not going to leave until the end of 2024. I wanted to be in country in 2025 because I put myself on a three-year plan. Now, 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. So that means by the end of 2024, 2025, I will be successfully there. Well, things change, right? You can see the future, but you can't predict it. So for me, things change. I got laid off. So when I got laid off in November, I'm just like, what am I waiting for? Why am I here? You know what I'm saying? Like to pay bills because my house, my car, you know, my bills, I'm paying those every month when I can literally be trying to transition myself to Ghana. Now, did I want it to move early? Of course not. I wanted to have a certain amount of savings, you know, so that I can be comfortable there. But at the same time, you know, I had to make the decision to either wait or 
go ahead and leave now. And one thing about it, you know, God lets you know your path, right? And that's why I tell you, what's for you, no one can take it away, not even yourself. Because although you may feel like this is not for me, what's for you is going to be for you. It might be different on the direction that you go, but at the end of that road, you're still going to make it to where you're supposed to make it to. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, make it happen. I said, God, open every door for me, for me to smoothly move across the world. And I can't say he didn't because, yes, I loved my job. But at the same time, I was ready to go. As soon as I came back in, in, in May, I didn't want to. I was ready to go. And I was like, Lord, this year, 2023 is taking forever. Like, I'm ready for it to be over, you know, so I can start 2024 and I can start trying to figure out what I want to do. And the year will go by fast because I'm making making moves and making decisions. And then next thing I see, they laid me off. So I was like, that was a great opportunity for me to take that time to do what I need to do. So for me, I was like, okay, I'm going to move in August. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to move in July. And then I was like, you know what? I want to be out of this country before my birthday. So I'm choosing April. So April, I will be out of United States of America. And I'm going to be an immigrant in Ghana. So I'm going to come from being immigrant in United States. So now I'm about to be another immigrant in Ghana. And I'm excited this time to do so because it's my choice to do it. So I'll be leaving in April. So I will be still showing you guys all the things that you need, of course, because I'm going to be shipping my stuff. And there's people who have told me not to ship. So I'm going to do a video of why you should ship and why you should not ship. So there you go, guys. I'm moving to Ghana and I know that it's going to be the best decision of my life once I arrive in country. So I am counting down. Okay, Battles. So that's why I'm moving to Ghana and how Ghana became my number one pick of countries to move to. So please follow your dreams. What's for you, no one can take it away, not even yourself. So until next time, bye.